Hello, Andrew Maestro. Sebastian. How Hello. are you, Andre Mirapolsky? Welcome, welcome to the kingdom of color, Hal. May we come into Absolutely. your lair? <laughs> My lair. That's a good one. So we're here with Andre Mirapolsky, fine artist. When I approached the front door of your studio, I noticed an orange cone with lots of dots on it like this. What's yes. that all about? <laughs> well, I call these prickles. Okay, prickles. And they're, they're all made from... Um, oh, it's sharp. Yes, they are. Wow. And they're hard. And they're seemingly indestructible once they, they get pressed on any kind of material. This is just caulking from the, the round tubes with the uh, the caulking gun. Wow. So I, 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 put, I put the gun towards that and I pull it out and that's how I get the little Hershey kisses. Wow. I made a kind of a minor career out of this... Uh, out of these prickles. So tell us about these beautiful paintings that I see all around us in your studio. What's what's the medium and how long does it take to make a Mirapolsky? Well, that's a good question, Hal. It's, uh, you know, it's, it, 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 it all depends. I just finished painting an entire building, which that took a month to do with a crew of people. What inspired you to, to do this kind of art? Well, I think, uh, originally, my father is an artist, and and um, he was an abstract, uh, non-objective artist, but he used a lot of color, and um, so I think that was my first uh, that was my first uh, inspiration was my father with with his sense of color. And then I grew up I grew up overseas, and my f real formative years were all in Asia, uh, especially Indonesia. I think I, I really picked up my color sense. I would give Asia most of the uh, most of the credit for my color sense. So it seems to work in California, you know, very well. It's, it's the California light, the airiness, the openness, and and so they're they're they're, they're more into bright colors in, in California. Hey, I'm noticing on a couple of these pieces, there's some syringes here, and they look they look rather wicked and right, scary. Right. So what are those about? Those are called Mirapolsky's head cases, oh. and they're all um, they're all depicting human emotions, human feelings. And then I use I do a portrait. I use myself as the subject, and I and I try to get in my face. I try to get an expression that represents the anxiety or that anger you're having it's really a self portrait work. it's a yeah it's a lot of self portraits so i did 65 in that series i use a, i use oil acrylic um, basically anything i can get my hands on Anybody that's a self-involved self artist, a writer, a composer, I mean, our, our time is our own. Right. But I you know some people, they set up every day certain hours that they go in and work no matter what. Right. And You're not one of those I, guys. I'm not really one of those guys. Right. I, I have to be, I work very hard, but I have to be inspired. I, I have so to it's have all or fire nothing. in the belly. All it, or nothing. It's kind of all or nothing. <laughs> And when you're, when you're painting or doing any of your objects, mm -hmm. um, how important is light to you? Right now we're getting the, the morning sun, right. which is lighting up the city of angels right here. Lighting is really important. Mm -hmm. I set up spotlights, searchlights, all kinds of different kinds of lighting. I like the light in Southern California a lot. So you're working on a project in South LA on a mural you did years ago that co got covered up by graffiti artists. Now what's happening? My idea is to include the graffiti. Um, I'm going to use the graffiti as a background. 
I'm going to put my characters, these are, these are zany fruits and veggies. They're all laughing and smiling and working out and doing push-ups and pumping iron and all that because it's eat more fruit and veggie. So to have these zany fruits and veggies, very colorful fruits and veggies, like bouncing around in this very serious area, it, it's a great contrast. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it, right? turn it into something because all this is expression they just wanted to do something and the fact that is that if we would have you know taken it all out it would have been put back up faster than before whoever did it as they walked past it's like they left it like that's new that's that's new man that's very very exciting to me and, and we would never we don't know these people so it's like dialogue to uh, to something we don't know and that's exciting whenever you can do that with with art making a conversation in that way, as positive as this is, I feel like that's the true reason that we're artists, you know, the true reason we're doing this. So you've been making a living as a fine artist. Has it always been easy? No. It's generally not been easy. But I have been completely 100% self-employed now for over 33 years. It's, it's actually kind of a, a miracle. For you know? some younger people that may be watching us today and have an interest in, in art or being artistic, what advice would you give them? Just be persistent. <laughs> you know, just hold to yourself. You know, you, you, you have to find your spirit, your energy. but. You know, a major part of life, I think, uh, now at this stage of the game, is persistence. Hey, the mobile, that's a big mobile. How, how did yes. you get it up there? Uh, very slowly. <laughs> Aloha! Mira Polsky.